Hey guys, so here we are on another uh, lovely New England day. Uh, 62 the other day, today it's sleet and snow and cold. So what I'm going to do today is, um, the other day it was really windy. It's actually been windy for a while here now. And uh, my garbage bins, my recycled bins were blowing all over the place and falling over. And um, I've been wanting to build a little shed uh, to keep them in. And uh, today we're going to do that. I'm going to use some of the uh, pallets that I uh, acquired and we're going to build something. So let me show you how we're going to do this. Okay, so I got a bunch of pallets here and I'm just going to uh, lay down a floor and put up some side walls, top, and some doors in the front. So first thing I got to do is I got to fill in uh, these gaps here. So I got to take some of these pallets apart, steal some of the boards and do that and then we'll build the walls. Okay, so I filled in the, uh, the gaps there. And that's going to be our floor. Now I need to work on the sides. Okay, so I got two of the side pieces. I got a back piece. Now what I did with the back, because it wasn't long enough, it's it's longer than four feet, which is what these pallets are. Um, I cut one pallet so that it would line up here. And then I had to splice in a little piece there. So I'm just... Um, I'm going to be running some other boards in the middle, which is going to tie these together. And also I'm going to put these little blocks on the back to tie these pieces together. Um, the blocks that are coming out of the pallets, I'm going to use those for corner braces so I can secure it that way. Uh, I do have to build it up one tier higher uh, because I want this about five feet tall. Um, so that's kind of where we're at at the moment. And I'm just going to be working on... Fixing the back, filling in the sides, and then we'll we'll go up a story. Uh, I'm trying to waste as little as I can. Uh, the board that I'm cutting for there, I have to cut off a piece on the end because it sticks out too much, which leaves me this little piece, which I'm using to brace up these two together. And then when I take the pallets apart, the um, the good oak pieces I'm using for the bracing, but some of them have these fiber ones, like pressed fiber, um, and these are good for the fireplace. Nice burning logs. So everything's uh, got a purpose. I like that. No waste. Here's where I'm at now. I got the sides on. I got the middle brace in. I got to make the uh, the roof, and then I'm going to make a couple of doors for the front. Not decided yet whether or not I'm going to fill in the uh, the gaps on the side here or not, or if I'm just going to leave it open for ventilation. Um, but the roof will probably be the next deal, and then the uh, the doors. Okay, so I had some extra roof shingles um, hanging around. So I'm going to use those on top of here and uh, just help protect it a little bit. So I'm just putting the uh, rows of this on, and I'll be done with this shortly. All right, guys, so here's the, uh, the shed uh, for the garbage cans all finished up. Uh, a little crude, but hey, you know what? Three pallets and uh, just a couple of days worth of work. Got it all uh, set up. So, um, yeah, it works for me. All right, guys, if you liked the video, give a thumbs up, give a like, give a share, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.